Well, it has been quite a year for so many of us. We're anxious to get back on our feet, especially when it comes to keeping up with rent and mortgage bills. Marie Flannery and the Fair Housing Center can help us do this. Marie, good morning. Thank you for being with us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Marie, what have you been seeing? You know, I understand this is a tough time. I have friends that are going through this. I know so many in our community are struggling with their rent mostly, but mortgage is also another huge issue. How are you helping people deal with this? Well, there are a lot of different resources available um, as far as assistance making rent payments and assistance making uh, mortgage payments. Uh, so we've been spending a lot of time educating the community on what's out there to help them during this time. Um, and we've also uh, launched during this time a landlord tenant mediation program. So if folks are having a problem, uh, you know, negotiating some kind of a solution with a housing provider, uh, we're able to assist them with that communication and help them work things out to hopefully avoid um, the necessity of being evicted. And you know, Marie, that's a, a great point too, especially having a program like this, a great resource for our community because you know, in a lot of instances, right, like landlords have bills they need to pay as well. They're also trying to feed their families in a lot of instances. And so this program can kind of help come up with a solution if people are struggling. Yes, and um, mediation actually is a neutral and impartial process, um, also voluntary. So we're not telling people what they should do. We're helping them to come up with solutions that work for both parties. Marie, if someone is struggling right now to pay their rent or their mortgage, what are steps they should take? Frequently asked questions that I'm sure you guys receive a lot. Yeah, and the first thing I would say is to reach out to your landlord or your property manager um, and let them know what your situation is. Um, you know, you can often, um, you know, work out some kind of a payment arrangement. Um, you can contact us at the Fair Housing Center to, um, you know, to try and help you communicate that. But keep in mind that housing providers <clears throat> cannot evict you from the property without a court order. So there's a difference between receiving a notice to vacate and an, a, you know, a, a notice that, you know, is prior to the eviction action versus a notice um, that the eviction has been granted and the sheriff is saying you need to vacate. So um, people that have questions, while we're not lawyers, we don't provide legal advice, we can provide legal information. Um, and there are other organizations in the city that are also helping folks. For example, Legal Aid of Western Ohio. Um, and another thing that they've recently done is that if you do have an eviction on your record, there's now a process with the Toledo Municipal Court to seal your eviction record so um, that that information uh, is not public and uh, legal aid uh, legal aid of Western Ohio uh, should contact uh, you know you should contact them and I actually have their number 877-894-4599 um, and they can help you with the paperwork for that expungement process great information and resources especially if you're struggling you know that step process of hey I can't afford my rent. I should have a conversation with my landlord. After that, knowing your rights are so crucial as a tenant. So when it comes to the resources, you mentioned legal aid. You also mentioned, of course, the mediation program. Anything else that people need to be aware of? Yes, there are still some rental assistance funds available. Um, I understand that Pathway still has funds and also Lutheran Social Services. Um, you know, we keep at the Fair Housing Center a, a database of available resources, so people are welcome to contact us as well. Um, and the other thing in the community that's available is to contact 211 uh, because they can also point you in the right direction. Marie Flannery, thank you so much for joining us today and breaking down some resources for those right here in Northwest Ohio. Thank you for having me.